I'm on the iPhone, I'm mucking about on there. I'm always um, trying to be ahead of the tech game. Do you know what I mean? You have to be one, one step ahead because you don't know what they're going to do to you. <laughs> I'm trying to be ahead of big tech. I was like born into the computer era, you know? I thought I'd be always good with computers. Like I thought I could do computers forever. Five years old, that's the first time I ever went on a computer and I was like, I'm good at this. <laughs> like I knew what to do on there. Like I knew which ads not to click on, like which blokes not to talk to. I was safe on there. I had Norton antivirus running on full blast. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll never get aged out of this. That was my thought. I'm 27 years old now. Like, I've already been aged out. Can't believe it. Nowadays, I log on to Google Chrome. It's saying I got 280 compromised passwords. <laughs> I'm like, what do you want me to do about it? Like, <laughs> I'm not about to change 280 passwords. <laughs> I'd rather just change my life, like... <laughs> I'll be someone else, I reckon. They reckon you gotta have a unique password for every website. I'm like, I don't even remember my dad's birthday. <laughs> and that's my password, like... <laughs> I don't know. They don't, um, they don't honour passwords anymore, either. They don't respect passwords. I've, I've started to notice that. It's kind of creeping into society, this disrespect for passwords. Because back in the day, you go onto a website, you type your password in, and they'd be like, yeah, we've heard that. <laughs> like, we honour that. Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> Explore the possibilities. <laughs> they don't honour passwords anymore. You ever tried logging into your email from someone else's computer? You ever did that? They don't, they don't let you in anymore. They send you a text. You gotta print that text out, get your dad to sign it. <laughs> he takes it into the mayor, right? The mayor shows you nine unique images. You gotta tell him which one's got a street sign in it. I don't understand the logic behind this. Cause you're telling me like a computer hacker, they've gone to school for three years, but they don't know what a street sign looks like. <laughs> blows my mind at the bottom like the reason it says prove you're not a robot and it's like I don't know whether or not I am a robot <laughs> but I know for sure that you are a robot you're a website so what's it to you what's this self-hating robot doing guarding this page if anything you should be letting me in it should say prove you are a robot I don't know it didn't affect me too much this whole password thing until I was living in this share house and it was in a reception dead zone. Like you couldn't get any bars of reception in the house and what that meant was I could log into the email but I couldn't get the text. It's a nightmare. I had to walk out of my house to get reception. <laughs> By the time I could get one bar of reception, it was already halfway down the street, almost at the post office. I'm like, I may as well send this email as a letter. <laughs> I'm like, dear father, Thank you so much for the video. I'm also suspicious of the vaccine. I mean... <laughs> I want to get it taken out of me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I believe whatever you guys believe. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs>